Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Railway Empire 2. In the last video, we got Albany up to 90,000 people and we reached really the last big task in this playthrough. We're at giggity percent on here and there's some expansion southward that I have to do. I need to establish an express line between Boston and Philadelphia. I need to deliver eight loads of salt to New York City and I have to reach 75,000 citizens in the mid-Atlantic states. This is Pittsburgh, Philly, and Washington, D.C. Now, I've always already, at the end of the last video, bought 3% of the stock in Barty Shiloh's company. That's the orange line down here toward the bottom of the screen. You have these optional tasks that are also available to you. My plan right now is to finish this series with this video. I bring it up because it's been about 10 days since I've actually played this. I'm playing this game on PC Game Pass, and if you want to pick it up, it's in the link for the description. Link to that is in the description for this video. Big reasoning though is that I want to make sure that I'm adding something with each video in the series that I'm putting out, and I'll admit that the last couple of videos I've kind of tr I've I've been treading water a little bit. I haven't done enough in my videos to keep things moving, to keep things fresh. Um, speaking of fresh, Barty's decided to do something that's going to piss me off significantly. He's built this little spur line out to West Fattening, outside of Philadelphia. So let's take a look at the geography on this one. So it's Philadelphia. This is New Jersey, I'd say. Because you got New York City, you got Long Island over here. You got the Delmarva down in here. You got like Maryland, D.C. Um, I don't. Do I need to expand into Virginia? No, I don't. I, this is an optional task. My goals are to focus on these three, and I've got just over five years to do it. Reaching the 75,000 citizens in the Mid-Atlantic states, I can hook Buffalo up to Pittsburgh. Um, I do need to get a line running essentially parallel to Barty's down the coast. I don't know how I'm going to get over these tracks, though. This is my concern, and I do want to essentially run my tracks parallel to his, going all the way down to D.C. Um, that's my goal, so let's get to it. I've got some research available to me. Let's take a look at that as well. Uh, we have deep pockets on the auction stuff. I've got Underworld Contract. i got a dining car. This is actually a good one. Increasing ticket prices by 25%. This will help me get even more cash available to me. But if I decide to wait a couple more months, I'll be able to get the covered cab and increase that. And also uh, increasing the efficiency of all employees by 10%. I'm going to hold off on the research for just a little bit. Let's start hooking up some train tracks. And for that, I'm actually going to pause the game. This is one of the things you can still do. Uh, let's see. Train station can have on the outskirts of a town. Okay. So I can do it like here. And I do want to parallel this. So it's also... Alright, we're good in there. Now we're going to do that there. They're right next to each other. It's a dick move that I'm doing. But essentially I'm doing like... This is Reagan National to... Well, I don't know what the equivalent would be here. Shazbot. Okay. Ooh. This building here is a problem. Can I buy it and then just demo it? Because the whole thing needs to fit in the city, it looks like. Oh, you must connect trace in DC to know if you're correcting. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, uh, whoopsies. Okay, I gotta I gotta I gotta leapfrog here. So let's go ahead and work on this setup for Boston. Um this is the kicker. I want tracks 1 and 2 to go down this way. Problem is, tracks 1, 2, 3, and 4 all go this way. So I need to build tracks 5 and 6 out here. Whoops. All right. Let's do 5. I'm going to bring it out to about... Let's bring it out to about... Ooh. Ooh. What is going on with you? Come on, game. Work with me here. Ooh. Okay, let's go to that, and then we're going to come over there. I'm going to parallel this now. Cool beans. Station gridiron. I'm going to max that out. No, wait. Can't do that just yet. Because i got to do the other tracks here in a moment. Give me a second. I'm recording this on Father's Day, so I'm getting a lot of text messages from uh, friends right now. Okay, I'm going to demo that section. 
that section. I actually have to demo this gridiron, so we'll do that right now. That train is in the wrong damn strop. Just gotta... I think it's a notification from my game pass there. Alright, that's what I needed to do. Get a gridiron here for four tracks. All right to there, I think. And then directions on the tracks. Yeah, I'm okay on the directions for that. That train's gonna have to get redone. Sorry. All right, now come down here to New York. Have to go around that village. Let's also make sure. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna wanna cry. I might wanna take this as a parallel and then kind of spur off this way with it. But this is gonna be the tricky part because I wanna get tracks going into New York and coming out of New York. God, look at this terrain. It's just awful. Is it really like this? Do we, is it really like this in, like, Connecticut and Rhode Island? If you live in these states, let me know. I, I The last time I was in these states was... God, Obama was in office. I think, like, first term Obama was in office, too. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to parallel these tracks down to the supply tower, and then I'm going to spur it off. Just to make sure I've got those things there. So let's go ahead and come past this. Cool. So now the tracks, all all the tracks come out of Boston. We'll get to at least here. Now I gotta spur this guy off. And I think this actually is the time to hook in Philadelphia, so I can kind of do it all in one grand thing. All right, train station. All right, sweet. I can't actually build on the outskirts, so I guess this would be on the Jersey side of the river. So it's Philadelphia in air quotes. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. So one more time for halfwits like you. Hands off my territory. If you don't tear down this ugly shack right now, I'll give you a knuckle sandwich. Dude, come on. That's just the weakest attempt at, at intimidation I've seen in a long time. And I mean, I get threatened in my job, too. That was just, just pussish. All right, moving on. All right, so I can actually build this big-ass bridge. Which would cost me a significant amount. I'm not opposed to it, to be perfectly honest. But if I go to, like, here, it's a significant drop. Let's actually do something like that. So two tracks will come out this way. Two tracks will go out that way towards Boston. And then two tracks will just run right through them both. So let's try this. I'm feeling a little insane today. It, I'm recording this on Father's Day, so... Um, my wife, who is amazing, um, she actually, uh, arranged for us to kind of have a little bit of a date night last night. Um, my in-laws, her parents, uh, agreed to watch our daughter for the evening, which was super, super nice. Um, okay. We do have to do a significant tunnel. That's a problem. I gotta go under this. I'm, um, I'm not opposed to that, actually. It's expensive to do it, but I kind of like it. Yeah, I'm going to do that, actually. It looks really good. I'll parallel this track, too. I will point out, this is all my money going out the door right now. Um, I'm not going to parallel going that way. But I'm going to go for the Boston track now. Grab that and bring it down. I'm going to hook the Boston track into these two, kind of like down in here. Um, but my in-laws were very gracious enough. They watched my daughter overnight, went out for a date night. So it was actually kind of like a game night slash date night with our friends, um, which I've met so many great friends through my wife. And this is actually friends that we've met through my wife's roommate when I first started dating my wife. Uh, she was living with a friend um, in another part of the city. And, uh, oh, I have to go around this thing. There we go. Hey, look, that moves, like, all the problems right there. It's a big, it's a significant grade down. But look at that going through there. I mean, kind of a cool ride going through that. Let's, uh, actually move that just a little bit. I'm trying, to I'm trying to smooth it out a little bit. I think it's the best I'm going to get at this point. 
But I do want to establish these tracks, and I'll hook in those things here in a moment. It was really nice to, you know, have a date night with some friends, and uh, one of the couples is expecting themselves. They're expecting a boy later this year, and so my well, wife kind of got to uh, talk with the one in that relationship about like any concerns they've got, and they're talking about baby shower and things like that. So I got to I got to kind of talk up with the uh, the gent there as well and make sure he's doing okay. It was really nice, uh, really nice evening. Overall, so let's hook in those guys there. Oh wait, I'm not done yet. Let's put in some grid irons. Does this also limit where the trains can go? I am fully cognizant of that. I'm gonna do two tracks down here for Philly. Oh, and you bet your ass I'm gonna have to do uh some more stuff over here also. I'm actually gonna let. I'm gonna have a max uh, track thing here. That's gonna, I think, take care of everything, because there is a track. There's a train way over here that's in the wrong uh, area. It's gonna have to get over, because these first two tracks are not gonna stick around. They're gonna come off on this spur line, go way the hell down here, past the native tribe. Let's go ahead and also make sure we have a supply tower down here for them. I'm up there, and I think right about here. I like that, actually. That looks kind of cool. Right, you are going to need a maintenance depot. You're absolutely going to need a maintenance depot there. You do have a maintenance depot on site? I'll make sure you got this. Yeah, you do. Cool. Okay. Refrigerator car confuses freight revenue. Hmm. I'm not going to do that yet. Okay. I think we're in a position to go. Um, the only downside is I cannot do a train that goes from Boston to New York and then New York down to... Philadelphia. It's going to be straight Boston to Philly that I'm doing on this one. Alright, so we're going to go Give me that. Boston. Philly. Express. Firefly is an express train. I'm going to uh, do one of these guys. But I'm actually going to do multiple lines here. So let's do New York to Philly. This one's going to be everything. And I will assign this as a Dunham. It's going to be mixed. And then we'll do a mail car in this one also. Who's missing supplies? This is the one at Jackson Station. How long have you been sitting there, dude? I mean, legit. How long have you been sitting there? Uh, let's see. Hang on. Ah, there was no supply tower for that at all. So ignore me. You can also tell it's been a while since I've played. I said 10 days. All right, let's make sure I've got this done. Eight loads of salt to New York City. Citizens to DC. Now I gotta make sure I have salt set up. Uh, let's turn this off. Let's get this to go. All right, let's, I think it's waiting for a clear track. Um, I didn't dedicate which uh, direction was going to be which for this. Um, I guess we can go that way, that way with it. And then this one, I'm not really concerned about who's doing what direction on them. It's more, you know, just get here. That's the important thing, please. I'm not going to work with that. And then New York City. Let's make sure we're getting a uh, New York supplied here. They're not being supplied with everything they need. They're at 58%. And to get them to the status that Albany's at, we need to get them up above 60. So let's take a look at their stock and demand. They're not getting their corn fulfilled. Not getting beer. Well, they are getting beer fulfilled. Let's see. Fulfillment in the last weeks. Okay. So they need grain. They need sugar. Okay. 
Fruit and veg. They're producing clothing. And cloth. Okay. So we need to try to hook up grain and or corn and or sugar and or fruit and veg. That seems like it's doable-ish. Okay, there's West Fattening over here, Native Tribe over here, Clay. This is doable. Just gotta math it out in my head here. Enjoy some tea while that's going on too. Uh, this rural business applies to Albany pretty much exclusively. Okay, let me take a look at the NE Freight. Northeast Freight hasn't been, uh... This one's been doing stuff on its own for a while. You're a Derwent. You have a hauling capacity. I'm gonna ignore that, uh, little thing. The Derwent's just not gonna be able to move as fast as she should. Um... I know we did a bunch of stuff, kind of redo in Albany, in the last video. Let's also speed the game up a little bit. Get this going a little faster. Man, my rail lines definitely look like American rail lines. They look, uh, they have a lot to be desired. Oh, oh wait, there's our train going to Philly. Let's actually ride on this train real quick. Yeah. There's New York. Man, New York is really small in 1832. But you actually want to see how this, uh, kind of looks. It's also, uh, I can't, I cannot, uh, do fast forward, oddly enough, when you're on this method. But, um... My plan with the series, going forward, um, if I do everything right, this video is going to be coming out the day I'm recording it. I'm going to try to get this one out on June 18. Um, if for some reason I can't, this will most likely come out on, like, Tuesday, go back to Transport Tuesday. Um, if this series is going to continue, and again, it's really up to you, the audience, it's going to have to be something that will most likely come out on the weekend. Surviving Mars has been the bread and butter on this channel for a very long time. I'm putting Anno to bed for a little bit just because of the amount of... Um, materials and effort that needs to go into putting those series together. Um, that one takes the longest to produce, whereas this sometimes it's, okay, I'll let the game run for a little bit, I'll go get some more tea, uh, go check on my wife and daughter, because usually when I'm recording and my wife and daughter are at the house, I'm usually just popping out and checking them, hey, do you need anything, things like that. Um, let the dog out. Look at this tunnel, this tunnel's very nice. Um... But for Anno, it takes a little bit more of a concerted effort. So it's not getting the return on investment view-wise. So this series is. Um, if it is... Hey, look, another train. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold up now. You really want war? Best settle your affairs, because tonight you'll sleep with the fishes. Ooh, okay. You better be careful. He means business. But we must not let this intimidate us. I honestly didn't even see... like. I'm, I'm riding the train right now. I'm not paying attention to that. <clears throat> but if the series is going to continue, obviously we want to make sure it's going to be continuing um, on like maybe Saturdays and Sundays or Surviving Mars goes to be By like this, Tuesday through Thursday. I just wanted Thursday. to make sure that you didn't forget about me. Okay, what I'm the hell do you do? I'm afraid we have to live with these sabotages for now. At what least do do? until we put this gangster out of business. Okay, you sabotaged me. I mean, I could go for the sabotage, but it doesn't seem like it's going to do me much. He's just being a little shilling. Um, so yeah, this is actually where you start to see the sabotage part of it. With the series, though, I've got to figure out if this is going to be something that's going to be like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Surviving Mars Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and putting the RTA and Sources and Eagle Moss unboxings when I have those videos available. i got to figure out when those are going to be fitting into the schedule as well. I like to have a consistency with my recording and my schedule. Um, in addition, with my coming schedule, um, I've mentioned it briefly, hither and thither, but my wife and I are expecting another kid in a few months, and also, I gotta get another Game Pass, um, extension to keep playing this, because I only bought one month just to kind of test the waters for this game. Testing the waters turned out to be pretty dang good. Um... I gotta make sure there's content being produced both before and after my my next child is born. Um, I don't have the capacity like 
some bigger creators and Provis really comes to mind because Provis just Provis and his wife just welcomed a kid themselves. I believe it was a son. Um, they have that capacity to well, and also Provis is full time. He's able to commit to like, okay, I'm gonna take like two, three days straight, produce content, and then while my wife and I are adjusting to like with baby, I can I don't have to worry as much about content being produced on the channel. When my first daughter was born two and a half years ago, I recorded as much as I could before we went to hospital, and then Dyson Sphere program came out, like the week after my daughter was born. And then I started playing that game, did not do well in it at all. Um, th 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 the gameplays are on the channel, they're pretty awful, but they're out there. Um, And I remember recording those videos in my office, this one I'm sitting in now. She's in a, one of those little rockers, just you know, sleeping in there, while I'm recording fairly quietly. And I don't know if that's what I want to be doing when my second daughter is born. So i got to make sure that whatever I'm doing is beneficial to the channel and productive to the audience, if that makes sense for everyone. Back to the game itself. All right, New York City. Let's get these guys squared. Um, issues with production on clothing. Dairy products, salt. They're not going to need salt for some time. But fruit and veg, hang on. I know where I can get some fruit from. Over here. It's actually a really far off distance for it. It's not going to work. All right, let's see what I've got available to me. Sugar's here at Kelly Farmstead. Could hook it into the New York line. I'm thinking about doing it. Is dairy over here. There's also a new industry over here. That's a uh, 326,000. Don't think I need that that badly though. Very good. Hey. It was about time that we also enter this market with our own goods. Hey, got that one done. Still got to do these two though. Um so Philly. Oh damn. Philly is not being supplied at all. They don't need clay. They don't need. They have, they have a lot of stuff that's not being delivered down here, and this is a problem because I'm on the east side of the tracks, from Barty, whatever the hell his name is, bitchy. I don't know. Most of his stuff is set up fairly inefficiently, um, because I mean, right here, here's salt or sugar. Excuse me. I could deliver sugar and meat to Philly. On this line, but there's also there's a, there's meat right here, and he did this weird little spur line to get to it. No, um, let's go into here now. We're at 260 research. Yeah, I want to make sure we're getting. Get a refrigerator car. Got that done. Hmm. Trying to see if there's anything, uh. I'm gonna hold off for covered cab, and then probably spark arrestor. Those are the two I think I'm gonna go for next. Um, hmm. Now, I wanna go to company now. Transport's going up. That's good. His stock value's pretty low, it looks like. Yes, yeah, 13 million to fully buy him out. So I'm just going to get myself up to uh, 10%. Keep your hands off my company. Well, no, no. Dude, bite me. What's the task list? You have to buy him out. 120 citizens or 75,000. This one's kind of tough, but let's actually try. Now that I've got Philly connected and I've got that uh, set up, New York, this is going to be a tough one. I gotta, I'm got to going to have to reconfigure a lot of things to make this work. Let me see if Sawyer is actually available to hook in here. Sawyer is able to get to New York. Okay. So this train... Okay. 
Oh wow, that it explains a lot. Okay, I'm going to reset this guy. Sawyer Terminal, all the way to New York City. So we're going to start delivering grain directly to New York from essentially Albany. Do you need dairy in New York? You do, but it's being supplied. Okay. Fruit and veg. Wood and cloth being supplied by me already. All right. Well, that's going. Let's get Pittsburgh hooked up. Pittsburgh can grow with the connection to this. I take that. Try to get a bearing for where I'm at here. Okay, so this is the Laurel Highlands. This is the Allegheny Mountains. The Philly's over there. Okay. Hmm. I see the salt. I see the sugar here. I don't think I can actually justify trying to go on this big-ass roundabout route, because Pittsburgh to Philly makes more sense. That's kind of more of a line north there. Okay. So I want to hook in Pittsburgh. Okay, throwing this out here. A little bit of historical and actually, this just grinds me a little bit. West Virginia did not exist in 1833. West Virginia and Virginia were one state until the 1860s in the Civil War. West Virginia broke away because Virginia seceded from the Union. West Virginia joined the Union. Sorry, point a nerd. Okay, let's hook up a... Whoa. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to hook it up like that. Cool. From here. Interesting. I can hook up that. Perfect. I'm going to hook it up like... Uh, Wait, can I do want to hook this on a on a line? No, I don't. I want to check something here real fast. Okay, I'm actually trying to hook these two together. Watch me do something crazy, folks. All right, so this one has to go to here. Track two. Parallel line. Done. Now from Brown Stop. What are you? Private property. Okay. Now from Buffalo. Tracks are on the right side. Yes! Okay. Let's find this. Let's make sure we're hooking in the right spot. There we go. Alright. Did you mention tunnels here? That's not okay. Oh, wow. Let's go ahead and uh, arc that a little bit back over here this way. Let's do like... Something like that, maybe? Just like that. Perfect. Okay. We've now hooked in Pittsburgh and Buffalo. Uh, put these guys on both sides. Got a nice little spur line going here. That's going to be nice. Uh, let's also do track direction, outbound, inbound. Outbound, inbound. Cool beans. And we'll also put um, put supply towers down in both in between both uh, stations. Obvious reasons coming up. Nice. All right. Now building construction. Let's done this. Done this. Done this. Okay. Now uh, over here in Pittsburgh, I will need to do a train station. Need you? Yeah. Here we go. Maintenance depot. Cool beans. All right. Two rail lines gonna be built right now. Brown stop to Pittsburgh. Done. You're going to be a freight, and you're going to be on a Derwent, because you're just going to be doing freight. And over here... I want to keep it relatively low. I don't want to be running everything all the time. New rail line. 
buffalo to Pittsburgh. This one is going to be automatic, and I'm going to load this up with a Firefly. Uh, mail car, absolutely. Didn't unlock those guys yet. And I've got that one going also. So we got two more rail lines hooked up here. Philly, New York City, Boston. I've hit the 30-minute marker already. Question is, do I want to keep going? Should be checking in on my Canadian lines at some point. Covered cab. Let's increase more. Uh, let's get more money coming in from my... Uh, How bad does this dude want it? All yours, Barty. I'll let him pay $1.5 million for this thing. I can go and research myself. You're a slow learner, and you'll always be a few steps behind me. He knows I can research that in like three months, right? It's not, that's not the steal he thinks it is. I ran up the price on him. And I do like the idea. See, Parkersburg has this. In West Virginia, there's a third world business right here. I can hook him up. It's not too difficult to do so. I do see the difficulty, though, in hooking Philly and New York up. Um, I'm looking back at what I said earlier in the video and seeing if I want to actually finish this one on camera or just finish it off camera or at all or just move on to chapter two i am actually thinking about moving to chapter two with this because we've hooked up everything it's now an issue of just letting the game run for a bit getting these states to getting these cities to grow which i'll get pittsburgh to grow off to the west by hooking up parkersburg in west virginia that'll actually accomplish this pretty quick and then getting new york to grow on its own that's gonna be the difficult one because new york needs to be supplied with stuff that is kind of already being dedicated to other locations um if I can get the grain brought in from Sawyer, which I'm going to check on here before I wrap up the video, the sugar, that's going to be coming in hard. Uh, that's going to be harder to come by. And same with these two things. Wooden planks? I don't even know who's applying those right now. We do have issues with production right now and other things. So let's check a look at our... Not you. Not you. That's coal stop. New York to Philly. Where's my Sawyer terminal train? Is that you? Nope. Coal stop to Albany. Where's my Sawyer terminal train? How you been doing lately, buddy? Yeah, I mean, we're delivering stuff. just not showing that we're delivering stuff. It's showing zero on the grain. Olsen Terminal Montreal, you're being serviced. That's good. Good, you're actually being serviced. I like that. Wow, holy crap, you've got eight carloads? Thank you. You're doing some great work. I appreciate you. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is probably finish this one off camera. We're in a good stop. We're in a good spot to essentially wrap everything up. That Indian village is not going to... Like, I can't even go to Parkersburg right now unless I go around that village. Um, but yeah, I, just, I would hook up Parkersburg, hook up this farm, hook up the corn, because I'm going to guess that, yep, it needs it, it needs it. Or, if anything, I would just take the, the corn straight out to Pittsburgh. I would just deliver it straight to them and help them grow that much faster. It's doable. But I'm going to probably do this off camera. Next video, we're going to move on to Chapter 2 of the series. But if you want that to happen, please support this video. Drop a like, leave a comment. If you've got friends that are trying to get in this game or think about getting in this game, share out my videos to them. It's greatly appreciated. The comments actually do help in the algorithm and kind of help things moving along. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.